Hello everybody, I hope you're having a wonderful day today. My name is Mikey and we're back with episode 6 of our Path of Exile Let's Play. So I know it has been a couple weeks actually since I've released one of these uh, for this part of the series. Uh, a lot of focus has been on lead content and uh, trying to do good there as well as uh, stuff in my personal life that uh, needed to get cleared up and focused on uh, over the past few weeks. So, but... Like I said, we're going to continue this. I looked through my items to make sure what I had. I applied a couple skill points that we got. Uh, if you look at our skill tree, you can see. So we're through this little branch, this branch, into this branch. And I was kind of looking around at what we might move to. Some stuff down here looks good, some stuff up here. Uh, so all in all, pretty good stuff. I think this is a bow tree, correct? Yeah, I'll probably try to get to this at some point, so... Fun stuff, but uh, like in last episode, uh, we went through here. Um, now we got to go to the Chamber of Sins, so that's where we're going to be going. So I'm going to be going to the crossroads. Oh, there we go. And we'll teleport there with the waypoint. And my mechanics are going to be a little goofed up uh, compared to what they were when we were playing this a little more frequently, but I'm going to try to crank out a few episodes here and try to put them out at a reasonable pace, um, so we can get back to it. So now I think, yeah, I need to like travel up this way, if I remember correctly. Oh, I still have my quick so okay. Trying to use my blink arrow a little more. forget which one that's my middle one okay can I go up places with my blink arrow that is cool <laughs> I don't know why that never struck me to try that but that's pretty cool so you can just go like oh I don't think I can go up there no it's the edge of the map silly me oops didn't kill that guy so I think if we follow this like upper wall, we'll be able to find, ooh, we got a strong box over here. We'll be able to find the Chamber of Sins. Man, I'm feeling good on the amount of damage we're doing. Play into these guys a little bit. Wow, we are clearing really well. Oh, not done with them yet. Go get all our loot. We got a decent amount of scrolls and some stuff out of that. Use that piercer. Uh, I forget exactly what it's called. With the bleed, take these single targets out quickly. It's been going well. Not much in that one. Mm <laughs> hmm. I think this is it up here. Chamber of Sins, cool. This is where we gotta go. Level one, I forget if there are like multiple levels. I don't quite remember. But we're gonna go through it. Ooh, this is cool in here. Luxury and cruelty go hand in hand. Now I don't know what kind of damage I'm gonna find in here. And my damage isn't lacking, but I definitely, uh, I spent two skill points on purely health and evasion nodes on uh, my last two. Uh, I did that off camera while things were loading up, and I don't know if that was a good idea. Um, I guess we'll see, but I can, I almost feel like when I go into these harder zones, you can feel the damage drop off just a little bit. This is going to be, this looks like it's going to be one of the harder zones for me, having, uh, being so close quarters feels a little scary. Um, go down here. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> it scared the crap out of me. I forgot my, uh, blink arrow shoots. Ooh, spiders. Ew. Ew. No, big spider. I really like that blink arrow to kite back. It's funny because I've told a few people, uh, like online and stuff, that I'm starting a 
to play this. And they've asked, like on Reddit and stuff, they've asked me what builds, what build I'm doing. I, I don't know what to call it. I just say I'm an archer. I, like, I don't think it's a build. I'm not following any specific build guide, which is probably going to bite me in the ass, but I just want to play through the game. Like, obviously, um, superior infernal, bl oh, I thought that was a bow. Cool. Um, obviously, I want to be able to do the end game content, which is maps. But I think making a map, like, uh, and the ability to do a map, I feel like is a lot different than efficient. Oh, this is, okay, cool. Than efficiently clearing a map. And I think that's when people say things are map viable. I think it means that uh, you can do them efficiently for currency. Is that a waypoint that I don't have? Or, because I would like to have a waypoint in here. What? Why, why is there... I don't like this. Oh, they blow up? Are you kidding me? Oh, I don't think I want to be here. Oh! Okay, I thought that was going to do a lot more damage then. That actually might be something we potentially use. Actually, do I need... I need a three link? I have a three link, so... That's something we could potentially switch out. So I'm actually going to... Max life, lightning, chaos resistance. I oh, mean, it's a pretty bad roll, I feel like. I don't know what chess rolls are normally. Nice. Inquisitor. Ancient device. Oh, this is like a map machine? Uh, not sure. Okay. We'll go on to the next zone here. Go deeper. Oh, I think that was one of the beasts I could catch. One of like the main ones. Go deeper into the chamber of sins. It's going pretty well so far. I haven't had any oh shit moments, so I feel pretty good. Go through here. Kill the summoner. Super stash tab sale. I already have stash tabs. I would love another Quicksilver, but uh, for that mission, I could have gotten a second one. But instead, I got a... Uh, I believe it was the belt I'm wearing now. Yeah, Torment Shackle. Whatever. All these AoE abilities make me nervous. Katarina's here. We could do something for her. The exile. Let us there you are, ex My sculpture complains that it's I need to kill two corrupted monsters for her. Yes, ma'am. Should be able to find them pretty easily. Usually it's pretty quick and you can get back to her. Just laying into them. It's really satisfying the range build, being able to attack things from a distance. I, I really enjoy that. It gets kind of monotonous having to be a melee range of everything uh, when I first played the game. I don't know, I just felt like you're just clunkier, you're not as fast, you don't have like the movement speed, I don't know. Hope I can, oh, they're up here, okay, cool. Hello, corrupted monsters, there you are. Ooh, you guys are fast. Can I just tank this guy? Okay, take you back to Katarina and get some uh, reputation. God, she really gives you a lot, too. Chrome. This is a support? Oh, no, this is an actual attack. But it has quality on it, so I'm gonna keep that for um like currency. I should like there are those that name us. Cool. Mission complete. Now I have a grand mana flask. But it's only immune to curses. So I do I have something that's a new magic property. So if I if I get another um 
I'm going to, once I get back to town, I'll make that magic and see if we can get something better than just removes curses on use and immune to curses. I don't know if that's good. I really don't. It sounds pretty good. Like, it seems like that would be a very situational good thing to have. Um, because then you could just never be cursed during, like, certain boss fights. That, I mean, it seems like a really good effect to have. There's a transmute. So we can do it now. We'll do it live. Oh, we gotta take it off. I forgot. Reduced amount recovered, but instant recovery? Huh? That doesn't seem good. See, this, so it like does it super quickly. I guess if I really need something, I could just jump up and hit three. I've been doing pretty good on mana though. Like I can take that and then, oh wow, it gets me to full like instantly. Huh. That actually, that could work like really well I feel like in some oh shit, oh shit situations. Oh, I didn't see this guy. My bad. I don't know which way I'm supposed to be going. Not this way I don't think. I have no idea. Up here, maybe? Ooh. Who? What? I could see, uh, okay, so I saw like this ble um, bleeding tree that made bleeding damage. Oh no. What is going on? What is this thing? What is summoning this thing? Oh my god, I'm taking a lot of damage. Oof. God, this thing's beating my ass. Oh no. Stack some bleed on it and run away. It's kind of what I'm trying to do here. Is he healing? <laughs> it's working now. I'll do it. I'll keep doing it. Holy crap, dude. We just got spanked. <laughs> Get back here, you. Oh, wait. What the hell? Is, is he still alive, the main baddie? God, I cannot hit these things. They're, like, super evasive. I gotta kill him, like... Okay, go hide boots. Oh, three link. These are go hide boots. Oh, these are, these are, uh, forgot it was a rare. So we leveled up, we get to put a point somewhere. And I'm trying to th think of what's crucial to me. Uh, I, was, I hear something. I'm not too worried about it. It's not gonna one shot me. Um. Guess we can go, to, like, over here. I get some crit. I don't, I don't... I think crit is, like, a late game thing you have with your... Um... With your, uh... Uh, bow builds. Is this just a dead end here? Yes. Okay. Getting a little full on stuff. I almost feel like this bleed thing or puncture or whatever the hell it is um, on like an AOE ability would be nuts. Like to, as my wave clear item. Oh, what's going on in there? I don't know what that sound was. <laughs> 
I am just gonna shoot through that window for that doorway. Try to hit the summoner, dude. Oh, there's a quicksilver. Nice. Definitely want that. And I'm actually going to put that on my W. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. So, um, oh, this is a dead end too. So I came up here for no reason. Noise. Go over here, I guess. Um, so now we have two Quicksilvers, and then once I can make this magic, I'll make it magic. This gave me maximum mana charges and elemental resistances. So I kind of want to just be able to spam Q and W and get away. And yeah, I'll only have my one life flask, um, which might be a little risky. This might be a good base to make rare. I don't think I want to be making things rare. Um... And then, because this is basically a way of keeping me alive. Ooh. It's basically a way of keeping me alive. Having more movement speed will translate into more. That will um, only slow me down. What? Am I that much out of shit? It's a superior flask. I don't want to drop that. It's really like nothing. I can. I have too much stuff. Okay, we'll do this. We'll go to the forest encampment, sell some stuff real quick, and then we'll jump back in. Let's just take a minute. Uh, I want to do it just because I, I don't want to. Troubles you bring now. I don't want to miss loot. Copper plate? Yeah, that's not something I'll be using. This is something I could potentially use. Um, save that for the recipe. Sell that. Oh, it has quality. Don't want to sell that either. Except, Travel far. Uh, dump some of this in here. This is gotta go here. Uh, usually I have a tab for. Let's see if I have that. Oh, these are the things I, <laughs> I totally forgot about it. <laughs> okay, these were the two um, uniques we got that we have to sell, which I found are worth like nothing. Um, div cards. We'll put those there. Um, potential items to use will go here. Actually, I didn't think that was that great. Uh, we'll put these in the currency tab. We're actually going to sell this to Groost. I don't want that. Going. Got an alt shard. But these we can just sell. They're just vendor Whoa. food because they'll give us some, like, some elk shards. And Return. I'm, like, it was, like, I could sell it online for, uh, at PvE trade with all that hassle for, like, together or not even an elk. It was pretty bad, so. Jump back in here. Everything's refilled nicely for us. I didn't make this magic. Oops. Okay. Whatever. Not going back for that. Not going back now. I'm going to do this. Play into that doorway. It is a rare box, so it looks like we'll get some good loot. A fusing. Another Quicksilver. Interesting. We're actually going to keep that. So I can roll um, large mana. Is that better than a grand? No, 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 it's not. Okay. It's like Grand Seldon's better than large. Oh! Spiders. Oh, that was creepy how they all came over like the freaking... They're going to do that again, aren't they? They're just going to keep like crawling over the edges. Oh, I don't like... I don't like that. Forget. have my other Quicksilver flask. What's that? Can I get over there? I cannot. Oh, there's a trial of ascendancy in this area. Ooh, that's the bad bitch. You again. Well, I'm sure you won't be looking so calm once that monstrosity tears you a new orifice. Oof. Oh, God. I don't know what monstrosity that is. Hi, Helena. Can you help that me? thing! It slaughtered everyone! Help me! Kill Fidelitus to rescue Helena. 
a d uh, uh, okay. Oh, it's up there. Okay, well, we're full on stuff, so I guess we'll go. Hello? Hi? Oh, God. Oh, he's, he's not that strong. I'm targeting him because he's going to do the most damage to me. Wow, that was quick. <laughs> what the hell? Um, interesting. Strange device. Get the baleful gem. I bequeath this treasure. Okay, talk to Helena. She's still down here. But well, that guy was really easy to kill. Okay, weird. Piety was after a creation. Meet Helena and talk. What did she say? Piety was after a creation of Melagaros called the Baleful Gem. It's nearby and it's something that take it to the village so we gotta meet her at the village so we're done okay cool awesome we'll have to go back for the trials of ascendancy i don't know where that was and i don't feel like being in that creepy place the oriathan girl she is alive she wants to stay with us not to go okay so we get a skill gem that's a spell Herald of Thunder spell. I want like an aura. Is there an aura? Grants a buff. This is a buff. Based on your physical damage. If you kill an enemy, it will be burned based on the overkill damage. The burn inflicted by the skill can only be affected. That's cool. That's an attack and that's a spell. Conjure an ice barrier that chills enemies when they hit you. I don't want to be hit. I think this Herald of Ash gem could be really cool. So items. Oh, I need to keep that, I guess. Travel so we'll go to our far. stash and we'll see. Uh, we'll dump some of this in. I think I need to keep this for something. I got to give it to someone, I guess. So that's definitely cool. Got my rings over here. We're going to name this uh, Div Cards before we forget. I don't know what they do, but just so I remember. And then, oh yeah, we were going to do uh, this. To gain a flash charge, we deal crit, immunity to ignite, removes burning on use. Okay, I mean, it doesn't really do much for us, but it's fine. So I, we got to talk to Helene. Oh, Yina wants the to talk to us. The spirit is strong in Felshrine. You touch the stones, you will feel it. They spoke. I to need to do so travel to the crypt. Oh, it's optional. I gave the Ebony Legion my faith and my loyalty, and it offered me nothing but fear and death. Piety led us into that wretched place in the hopes of finding a device named simply the Spike. Fashioned by Inquisitor Melagaro, it was said to enable the injection. Oh, I don't get anything. Nice. I have a story for you. A good story, but not finished. I go into Eight Lake Forest in Southwest. Meet the mother of all eight. The Weaver, okay. So there is a spear that I can get back for silk. And then this is optional. I can travel to the crypt in Fell Shrine. So what will we do for this episode? I think we'll go to the Weaver and we'll get this dude's uh get this dude's sword. Oh, I have another one, too. Oh, I didn't... I what forgot. I got two. Charge recovery? Oh, wow. That's really good. I wonder if they stack. That would be insane. I don't really want this other what one. Do you want? I'll just get some else for it. Alt shards. So I don't know what to do with these things. Uh-oh. I'm lagging here. Okay. The Apex and the Baleful Gem. I think we use it later, if I'm not mistaken. So we'll go to the Western Forest and we'll get this dude's spear and then we'll probably call the episode there. I'm going to try to make these a little shorter. They're, so they're a little more palatable. So you're not watching a video for like an hour and a half. Okay, so... Uh-oh. What am I doing? I want to look at the map. Okay. So, I don't know if that means anything, but we could look at this. This looks all webby, so. Hey, 
I killed your leader. Why are you still here? <laughs> I like having the two Quicksilvers. Really nice. I feel like I'm really going to appreciate that. And you can see how quickly uh, my W1 recharges because it's uh has the modifier for a fast recharge recovery. I don't know if this is the correct way. I think this was to uh superior longbow. Is that better than my 7 to 28? No, not even close, baby. I don't know if this is the right way, but I'm going this way anyways. Oh, wow. A rare recurve bow. I have a composite. Wait, 11 to 34. Oh, so this is the next tier up, and it's a rare. Now, I can spend money to... Well, I only need two. Oh, this is super good for us. Awesome. Let's identify it. 20% increased physical damage. 1 to 3 cold, 1 to 6 lightning, 2 life, 14 accuracy. 14 to 31, 13 to 41. Oh, oh it goes 10 more. And then you get some elemental damage and higher crit. And it attacks a little slower. Bow rain. Well, that's a better bow. And we can put these skill gems over here. And we don't need that anymore. That's awesome. That's perfect for us. Okay, cool. So we just upped our DPS quite a bit with faux rain. And I just ran right into that guy. Yeah, let's, let's fight. What does this one do? We need a shock. Hmm. That might be good later. During like a shock zone. Oops. Button. Oh my god. This damage is higher for sure. I don't think I'm going the right way. I'm not seeing a weaver's chest anywhere or a weaver's place. Well, I'm one-shotting these guys now with this bow. I think it just goes to show that, like, if your weapon's behind a little bit, things will not go well. Uh, you need to keep up on your gear. And that's something I obviously have no clue about, so. We're going to run back. For some reason, I'm getting the feeling like we need to go the other way and not so deep into here. I don't know why my instincts are telling me that. Ooh, that's a big boy. That's a big, big boy. What is up with these things coming out of the ground everywhere we go? <laughs> I don't like it. Another one? Just tank it up. We can do that. Okay. Oh, something's over here. The Weaver's Chamber is perfect. We found it. This looks freaky. I like a freaky entrance. I'll go in here and see what we can do. Uh oh, my mouse is feeling a little. I think I have a Death Adder Elite in like the rubber where your thumb, my uh, right thumb, right thumb rests. Oh yikes, that was that's a mess. Um, I think it's like peeling off a little bit. It has been. Had had it for probably a year and a half, uh, two years with daily use. So for seventy bucks, it's not too bad at all. I should probably need to buy a new one soon. That'd be nice when I'm in season, money is a little more, it can be a little more lenient with money because that's when I'm making my income for the year. So uh, any extra work that I do or my company does, I, I can spoil myself a little bit to get some new computer upgrades and things of that nature. 
which I'm definitely going to be needing to do. I'm still running a uh, GTX uh, 750 Ti. And that's getting pretty dated. It's a good card, don't get me wrong. It's definitely a decent card. It, you know, holds its own. Um, I can play a lot of games that, and they all look acceptable. Using in a chest? <laughs> what? Um, yeah, so I can, I can use them. Um, what was I saying? I totally just blanked out when I did that. Can, do I just click this a few times? Mali Garo Spike, that's the dude's name. So I get an essence for this. I don't know how good essences are. I have no, I need to look up an essence guide. That's probably a good idea. I think we had to go through here though. Oh, it looks like it. God, these things just sneak up on you. Oh, the 750 Ti, that's what I was saying. Yeah, I definitely want to upgrade that. I can play most games, but like some games, I have to turn the quality way down, especially when recording. I notice that there's some uh, problems. So not in this game so much, but when I was making some Hunter uh, Call of the Wild videos, which I would love to make more of, um, I had to turn it down to low for the gameplay to not like glitch out on me. So, or to look really bad and tear all over the place. So uh, definitely more video memory would help a ton with that. Uh, I have 16 gigs of RAM, and I do have an i5, uh, 3.5 gigahertz processor, so I don't think that's my bottleneck. It's definitely my 750 Ti, so. It was a budget card when I got it, and it's been probably five years, so. Uh, I think definitely the, oop, didn't want to do that. Next upgrade for me is definitely going to be an i7, or uh, going to be a, a new graphics card. Probably something like a 1060 I'll probably go to. Maybe a 1070 if I want to future-proof it a little more. Um, yikes, they're just clogging up this entrance here. I'll probably go to a 1070, future-proof it a little more. If I'm going to mess with taking it out, might as well not do it every couple years. Um, so I'll probably get a 1070, definitely not anything like a 1080. And then... Um, my processor, I'll probably go up to an i7 here pretty soon, so. Those two alone, I have, you know, my power supply obviously is fine, and my, uh, um, I have 16 gigs of RAM, which is plenty for most of the stuff we're doing. Um, maybe add another stick in there at some point. I don't know, we'll see. That's cheap to do, though. That is very cheap to do. I want to find this weaver. So, definitely graphics card, then processor. Everything else is kind of, you know, negligible in a computer. Your RAM, you can get away with low RAM, but I have 16 gigs, and then you can, uh, your power supply is just how much power you need for the computer. I don't have any, like, water cooling or anything. I don't overclock. It, where am I supposed to go here? Did I just go like the complete wrong way? Apparently hit a dead end over there. Cannot find this weaver, dude. I don't know if I go this way, down, back down. That would be terrible if it was like right here and I had to just go all the way. What the hell? He's like teleporting. Yeah, I can tank you because I'm a beast. My build is overpowered. Okay, so apparently not. It's up north, clearly. Or uh, from our general direction, up on the top of the map. I'm assuming. Yeah, this has to be it. Trying to think of what else I could really upgrade. That's pretty much it. All that matters is your processor and your video card at that point. I'm so confused. Oh, it's over here. Oh, this must like go to his chambers or something. The nest, yeah, okay. So that should drop me in here. Cool, cool. 
And this is where we'll fight him, I'm fairly certain. Ooh, that scared the shit out of me. I'm not up to that just yet. Oh, I forgot to use my last skill point, right? No, I still have it. some bleed on him. Nice, we got him. Or her? I don't know. <laughs> One of the two. Jeez, finally died. Chromatic? Nice. What are you doing? Okay, so we'll go back to this. Oh, not the Sarn encampment. Oh, I think that's later, actually. Or did we go through that? I don't remember. I'll remember. Go back here and give Malagaro his... Oh, what is this? Piety would have concurred with Eremir's theory about that northwestern ruin. The Val were that spear. Yes, that is my best spear. Nice. The one I stuck in eye of all. Oh, okay. So I get a support gem. Faster attacks. Oh shit. Hell yeah. Supported attacks those do 31 more damage with bleeding and poison caused by projectile hits. That could be something big for us. Support skills have 10. Ooh, man. So my pierce and puncture could be supported by this and do like a ton of um, bleed damage. Or I could get faster attacks and just all around. I think I want faster attacks. That seems dope. Now, I wish I had a four socket green. And I could put this, so I guess for now, this is just gonna, so it doesn't take off any damage? No, not at all. Okay, cool. It just makes you attack faster. So that'll make our bleed stack up faster, I guess. But ultimately, I want to get that on our uh, wave clear ability for sure. What? What? Why do I still have Malagaro spike? I'm gonna sell all this stuff. I'm, does this sell for anything? I guess we'll keep those. Because I don't really know what else to do with them. And I'll put all this stuff in the stash. I, wh who was I supposed to give Malagaro's? Uh, am I supposed to use that with all this stuff still? Okay. I'm hoarding things now. <laughs> well, anyways, like I said, we're going to make these episodes shorter. They're a little more palatable. We'll do a little less each episode. It should still be a decent length. So I thank you guys for watching. Actually, before we go real quick, we'll put our point in here. Uh, uh, we'll go down here. Perfect. More damage. Why not? So like I said, thanks for watching. I'll be posting these up uh, hopefully as regularly as I'm motivated to play this game in my limited time. So I'll mostly be playing League, but uh, I'm still really enjoying this. Still having fun. I still want to beat this game now that there's 10 acts. I think that's just a cool thing, and I at least want to experience the game and do some maps late game. And kind of just have fun with this. So thank you for watching and have a great day, guys. See ya.